Hi everyone, I recently did a video about books for learning physics and as a follow-up to that I guess I wanted to do a video about books that I'd recommend for learning mathematics. Now there are so many math books out there, textbooks and otherwise, and so the ones that I'm going to recommend to you are just the ones that I've encountered and that I've read and that I didn't think were terrible, but there are going to be so many others out there that might be just as good or even better. It's it's really hard to have a grasp of all math literature that's out there, but it's sort of my opinion that, especially if you're just looking to learn mathematics, then it doesn't really matter too much which introductory book you pick up um, or on any of these topics I'm going to mention pretty much the best book for you to get is going to be the one that's available at your local library or that you can get access to. Don't go too far out of your way to try and get like a particular book because I think uh, concepts like calculus or linear algebra, you know, they're so broad that um, any book that claims to cover them will probably do a decent job. Now as a place to start I want to recommend a reading list put out by Cambridge University and it's their mathematical reading list. This is a document that's intended for students wanting to go to Cambridge and study mathematics and it's I think a really good list that contains um, books about maths and it really contains everything. It includes books about how to study maths well, uh, books about the history of mathematics to give you a lot of context uh, for the ideas you're going to learn, there are some books about um, theoretical physics and the maths behind that and there are what they class as readable textbooks so all the books on this list, list which I'm going to link first in the description um, I think are really good for someone who's trying to learn math and wants sort of a well-rounded idea of what math is and how you study it and how you get into the mindset of learning math um, so I think that's really good, check that out. And I do have a list here of some of my more specific recommendations. Um, and yeah, I'll start off again with some like general or just for fun math themed books, um, which are for in case you're looking for maybe a few books to get inspired about the idea of maths or just want some fun reading. So one of my fun reading math books would be um, Fermat's Last Theorem by Simon Singh and I think that Simon Singh is a really good science communicator. He also wrote a book about the mathematics um, behind some Simpsons episodes and he's got some like astronomy and physics books too. A really I think good book into a little bit of a history of mathematics but also some of the fun of math and about proving things and about numbers themselves. Uh, also, I'm going to mention a book called Flatland by Austin Abbott, and this is like a real old classic like book, and it's not really about maths apart from the fact that it's set in a mathematical universe in a flat land, which is like a 2D landscape where the main character is a square and it's talking about mathematical ideas like lines and polygons and shapes, and those are all the characters, um, but it's actually, I guess, commenting on politics and social constructs um, all through the lens of like a very nerdy sort of mathematical view. I thought that's just I'll put on there as a fun book. Another one that I'll mention in this category would be A Mathematician's Apology by G. H. Hardy and this isn't really a book as much of it is an essay and it's just something that I encountered multiple times during my math studies because like a lecturer would recommend you read it or something and it's like a essay from this mathematician talking about what it's like to be to be a mathematician the mindset of being creative in that context and I guess how to be in the mindset it's like his reflections on his career as a mathematician I think it's just maybe a useful thing if you're hoping to head in that direction Okay, so moving on to my list here, um, starting with calculus. So again, like I said, I think pretty much any calculus textbook is going to be fine if you're just wanting to learn calculus. The specific textbook I used during university, like for second year studies, was Early Transcendentals by James Stewart. And this was just like the standard textbook for us at my university. And I thought it was fine. It covered like all the concepts I really needed to know for my course. It was you know, bearable to understand. Um, 
so I guess I'd recommend it. I actually remember buying my copy of this book from one of those like um, textbook exchange sites and I met up with this random stranger um, at the stairs of my university library. He pulled out the textbook from his bag, I pulled out some cash and we exchanged and I guess what was like a math majors drug deal. Another book often recommended in this category is Calculus by Michael Spivak. So moving on to the category of linear algebra, uh, the one I read and I guess I recommend because I thought it was good was Elementary Linear Algebra by Howard Anton. Maybe I have a very biased um, liking of this book because I remember using it to study for a linear algebra test that I did really well in, um, but I also thought that of all the linear algebra books, algebra books I encountered, this one seemed to do things reasonably intuitively and I know it, it covered ideas but first giving clear definitions of them so you were never too confused. Okay, differential equations is a really big category in learning math. You're going to start with learning ordinary differential equations, then partial differential equations. But what I sort of found in all these differential equation courses is the lecturer tends to sort of write up their own course notes, which you can probably learn from completely self-sufficiently without needing a textbook. It just seems to be that um, since differential equations are such a big area that if you're doing a course on them, often you will have some sort of um, at least recommended reading from your lecturer or they've written their own set of notes to go along with it. Um, but some books I'll, that I'd say are alright are Partial Differential Equations and Introduction by Walter Strauss um, and also another online resource which is called Mathematical Tools for Physics and it's by James Nearing and I'll give the link to this but it's actually a like completely free online PDF of this guy who's written up a bunch of notes on math used for physics and because differential equations are so often used in physics that's a big part of this like online textbook. I'd say check that out if you're looking to learn not only differential equations but a lot of these more physics or application based ideas in maths. One more book I specifically want to mention is for complex analysis and it's called Visual Complex Analysis by Tristan Needham and this book claims to give a very intuitive explanation of complex analysis more so than I've seen anywhere else I guess. Complex analysis is maybe an inherently unintuitive topic sometimes because um, you're dealing with the imaginary numbers and you're dealing with all these ideas and results and theorems that come out of imaginary numbers and they can seem really sort of strange and like they just came from nowhere so this book I'd say is worth reading if you want to actually understand imaginary numbers and not just um, be satisfied with saying oh they're weird and crazy they're imaginary but actually I guess understanding that area of maths. Now in my last video about the books for learning physics some of you guys left really awesome comments detailing like further book recommendations you have and even some recommendations for math. So I'm going to read out some of the like most recommended books that I saw in the comment section of that video. These are books I haven't personally read myself, but I know I trust you guys that if you're recommending them, they're probably good. Um, so a shout out to Principles of Mathematical Analysis by Walter Rudin, Analysis One by Terence Tao, the famous mathematician there, Algebraic Topology by Alan Hatcher, Mathematical Methods in the Physical Sciences by Mary Baus and I think that's actually possibly the only book I've recommended on here and even in my last video written by a woman which is kind of sad but at least I've got one to include. Um, Abstract Algebra by Dummett and Foot. I think that's actually quite a classic book for abstract algebra. Um, Discrete Math and its Applications by Kenneth Rosen and How to Think Like a Mathematician by Houston. And I saw that that one, that last one, was recommended if you're wanting to learn more about formulating proofs and the idea of proofs. Um, like, and that said, those are some of my recommendations, but I'm sure you guys have even more recommendations than I do, so I'd love you to just sort of talk amongst yourselves in the comments and, and share some of your further experiences with these books. 
also good places to get like really specific book recommendations um, or reviews are like on the math subreddit or even on like math stack exchange people are often talking there about their experiences with certain textbooks and like I said there are so many textbooks out there and they're often so large and take so long to read that for one person to understand all that's available is pretty hard. Thanks for watching this video. I feel like talking about math textbooks must be inherently one of the most boring things someone can do. So, I mean, I'm really grateful that you guys are interested in this content um, and I'm always open to more ideas. So let me know what you think in the comments and hope you have a good day.